winner is... Coolio featuring Gangs of Paradise. Hollywood's glam is far from the smooth image often portrayed to the public, and this is no longer a secret. This world has been clouded with a lot of dark mysteries that have remained unsolved. Attempts to shed light on these mysteries have been met with tragedy, deterring those who want to uncover the industry's darker aspects. Nevertheless, rapper Coolio stood unafraid of the risks, boldly revealing some of the dark secrets that shroud Hollywood. What are these secrets? You'll have to find out. So delve in as this video reveals Hollywood secrets revealed by Coolio. Despite originating from the same Los Angeles neighborhood as popular hip-hop figures like Dr. Dre, Easy e and Ice Cube in the late 1980s, Coolio stood apart with his comparatively lighthearted approach. His popular tracks from the 1990s brought a gentler rhythm to the rap scene, offering a contrast to the more aggressive tones often associated with the genre. This approach proved successful for Coolio during the late 1990s, as reflected in the widespread sales of his initial two albums. However, after half a decade in the limelight, his popularity waned with the rise of new hip-hop talents taking center stage. In the subsequent 30 years, his recognition was largely tied to his upbeat contributions in reality TV game shows and film, contrasting his earlier musical career. Gangster's Paradise took you to a whole. Can you exp like? Can you put it in perspective? What level that song, you know, for that Dangerous Minds movie? What what level did it catapult you to? Like, what kind of things were you witnessing that you didn't before the success of that song? This Coolio transition to hosting games and TV shows generated a lot of controversy. No one can fathom why a globally renowned musician with a hit track such as Gangsta's Paradise would suddenly quit his music lifestyle. Coolio's early life was marked by challenges. Raised by his mother after his parents' separation when he was five, at first her paycheck kept the family going, but when she lost her job, she started drinking and neglected him. This drove Coolio to associate with local gangs in his neighborhood. He claims he was a victim of bullying, but immediately had the power to fight back after he started associating with the gangs. As he continued to hang around gangs, he fell into drug addiction and later faced legal troubles, which caused him to be jailed for 10 months. The reason behind his jail time is still clouded in mystery, with some attributing it to mistaken identity and others to theft charges. He turned 18 while incarcerated, and by this time, he had learned his lesson, never wanting to go to jail again and trying to get out of that situation. But by that time, he was addicted to even more hard drugs. When he finally saw his life spiraling out of control, Coolio looked for help and moved in with his father in San Jose, California. It was at this point that his rap career began, quickly propelling him to well-deserved fame. He released a hugely successful album, highlighted by the mega-hit Gangsta's Paradise. This track evoked a sense of spirituality, and perhaps even sadness for some listeners. Collaborating with the Hollywood elite unveiled the secret part of the industry to Coolio, and his willingness to be outspoken and unapologetic in his approach allowed him to reveal profound truths to a global audience. During an interview, Coolio openly shared his experiences. He recounted how, during his fame in the industry, he was never directly approached. Instead, intermediaries were sent to convey certain messages. He felt that this indirect approach, possibly by the Illuminati or elite society, was suspicious. He found it odd that the elites didn't reach out personally, but rather through shady individuals. These individuals would coerce him into engaging in inappropriate actions just to complete a single song. Actually, the amount of, um, I don't want to say political power, but the amount of social power that I, that I was able to achieve, you would think that I would be a prime candidate for this for this just to be, so we could say we could call it something for to be a member of the Illuminati or a member of the elite society or whatever. The actions demanded of him were incredibly bizarre, leaving him profoundly stunned by the realization that such inhumane actions were deemed necessary to secure a foothold in Hollywood. According to him, he resisted them, but unfortunately, this turned out to be even more detrimental to his career. He alleged that these influential figures in Hollywood went to great lengths to tarnish his reputation, employing various unethical tactics against him. 
went to jail for some mm-hmm. bullshit. Got convicted. Well, not necessarily convicted, but because I, I didn't do no time, no real time, but little shit started happening. According to him, numerous unjust actions were inflicted upon him, one of which was his arrest on false grounds. At the Los Angeles airport, he was apprehended under the accusation of possessing an illegal substance. Coolio adamantly claimed his innocence, expressing his complete unawareness of the presence of a loaded item and other questionable materials in his bag. He maintained that he had never attempted to place such substances in his luggage, stating, I'm not an idiot. He immediately distanced himself from the bag, asserting it wasn't his. Strangely, the police opted to inspect precisely the bag containing these disputed items, as if they already suspected its contents were suspicious. Despite his explanations, the airport authorities remained skeptical. Seeking to establish his innocence, Coolio proposed a DNA test, reasoning that if the substances were his, his DNA should be present. However, the authorities declined to conduct such a test, stating it wasn't their protocol. Yet Coolio took it upon himself to bear the cost of a DNA test solely aiming to exonerate his name from the baseless allegations that had led to his scrutiny at the airport. Unfortunately, his efforts proved futile as he was arrested on charges of substance and firearm possession. Coolio faced the prospect of a three-year jail term or probation. However, a negotiated plea deal averted jail time while mandating him to undertake a 45-day period of community service. Despite his reputation having suffered considerable damage, the saying that once something is said, it's often treated as true, held weight, casting a shadow over his name. When you know, and when you're a celebrity, bro, when something happens, whether it's true or it's not true, once it's been said, mm-hmm. for most people it's true. Because people don't people don't do research to find out if something is true about a person or not. As the legal proceedings unfolded, it eventually emerged that Coolio had not been linked to the possession of any weapons, a fact that was substantiated during the course of the trials. After the hearing, the rap star sounded a note of contrition in remarks to reporters, saying that his latest brush with the law resulted from a mistake. It was a misunderstanding. I do not condone the use of firearms, legal or illegal. Thanks to the court and the attorneys handling this for me. I can still do the work that I do, he said. But for the substance possession charge, Coolio received a 10-month jail sentence with drug rehabilitation, and all these matters stem from his refusal to associate with Hollywood elites. This incident was just one of many he disclosed, as he aimed to expose the industry further. However, he feared the repercussions of his disclosure, because he knew these people were very powerful and might hurt him and his family. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm scared because I, I got four grandchildren, and I got I got and I got I got children that are in this world. I got people I care about. In an interview where Coolio was trying to reveal the hidden secret, he displayed evident fear that his family might face harm, leading him to withhold what he knew. However, despite keeping silent about it, as soon as he exposed his Hollywood experiences, Coolio became the target of death threats. Tragically, after some time, he was discovered dead in the bathroom by his friends. Coolio came to his friend's house for a hangout and went to use the bathroom, but he never came back alive. When his friends checked on him, they found him dead on the bathroom floor. Initially, results from the medics showed that he had suffered a severe heart attack, but later results showed that he had died from the effects of fentanyl. When something is obviously wrong, or you obvious, something, some, you, you see something going on, And then somebody brings it to your attention, right? And then you sit there and argue them down about how it's not true. I'm cool on that. The renowned artist, whose real name is Leon Ivey Jr., was 59 years old at the time of his death. Since his death, a series of recent interviews with Coolio have emerged in which he asserts his intention to reveal dark aspects of the music industry. He claims to have witnessed dangerous information and expresses a desire to raise awareness among black individuals about their authentic origins. It's a common pattern that whenever a celebrity passes away, conspiracy theorists tend to attribute it to secretive government groups or the Illuminati. They often draw connections between numbers, initials, dates, and album cover symbolism to support claims of foul play or assassination. 
Similarly, there are now assertions that Coolio's demise was orchestrated to silence him due to his alleged knowledge of Hollywood secrets. The level of conviction with which some individuals hold these beliefs is quite remarkable. Someone said, When I first heard of his passing, I told my wife he was exposing the truth, and that's what happened to him. I saw his interview when he talked about how they came for him and his family. They got to him, bro, especially if they say his death was related. Then we know they got to him. Another person also said, I don't believe in coincidence. He suddenly and mysteriously passes away after expressing his desire to make black people wake up and understand where they really came from, and after he talked about how he has supporters that are willing to stand up and help the movement. If you're famous with a voice and you start saying something they don't like, they take you out. While it's not likely that Coolio is the type to lead a movement against the music industry, there's little doubt he was aware of some questionable practices behind the scenes. Do you think Coolio's death isn't natural? Let's know your opinion in the comments section. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, click on the next video, for it's the next gossip you will want to know about in the celebrity world.